Hello guys, so we are back with another exclusive demo video of ultimate wishlist for WooCommerce plugin. So this is Munam from Make Web Better and in this today's demo video, we will understand the backend and the frontend settings of the plugin. But before proceeding forward, first I will explain you about the basic concept of the plugin and at the end of the video, I will also explain you about the advantages of wishlist for WooCommerce. So keep watching till the end so that you don't miss any update regarding the plugin functionality. What is Ultimate Wishlist for WooCommerce? The Ultimate Wishlist for WooCommerce is a plugin that will help the admin or the store owner or the merchants to create a setup of wishlist which in turn will help the customers to save products in the wishlist and purchase them in the future. So this will help the admin or the store owner to get customer insights of what they want and what they want to purchase and can plan the marketing strategies according to the customer insights. So before you move to WordPress dashboard, if you haven't downloaded the plugin, we have mentioned the link in the description content so you can download it from there. And after installing the plugin, you have to move to your WordPress dashboard and click on ultimate wishlist for WooCommerce. So firstly, I'm going to explain you about the overview section. So in this overview section, you will get to know about what is ultimate wishlist for WooCommerce and how does this plugin will help and what are the free features are included in the ultimate wishlist for WooCommerce plugin. So this was all about the overview section. Now let's move to configuration and settings. So as soon as you have clicked on configuration and settings, you will be able to see these five tabs that are general, social sharing, push notification, advanced features, CRM configuration. So first I'm going to explain you about the general settings. So in the general settings, we will see how we can easily set up the plugin, including wishlist customization. So the first functionality is enable or disable the plugin. So by enabling this, the wishlist functionality will come into action. Next is enable wishlist pop-up. So by enabling this functionality, the admin will get the feature of pop-up. So what does this mean? This means every time when product is added to the wishlist, the pop-up notification will come along with the options of view wishlist, buy now or cancel. So it will assist the customers to click on any of the three options. So basically it will help the customers to get all the options at one place without wasting their time. Next is wishlist position and preview. So in this the first functionality is wishlist view type. So in this plugin we have mentioned the two options that are icon over product page and add to wishlist button. So first if we select icon over product page so we can uh, we get different customizations so what is wishlist view type so with this functionality the admin can decide the placement of the wishlist option on the woocommerce store and it will also allow the shop owner to decide the appearance of that uh, wishlist view type like uh, if i have selected icon over product image so i can decide the wishlist interface icon like if i have selected heart icon or cart icon like heart icon i have selected so on the product image, a heart icon will come. So as soon as the customer click on click on that heart icon, so the product will be added to their uh, on that customer's wish list. So if I sell, uh, likewise if I select add to wish list button, so uh, in that we get two customization that are wish list on loop. So uh, with this, it will help the admin to decide the location of wish list button on the shop. Like uh, the admin can decide the location. Of the wishlist button on the shop like if he wants before the product title or after the product title or before the product section or after add to cart button so he can select pro select it from here next is wishlist on product page so with this it will allow the admin to select the location of add to wishlist button on the specific product page so it will allow the, uh, the admin to select the wishlist button on any specific product page like after the product title or before the product title whatever uh, the options are given uh, he can select from here now we can select like uh, if you want to select uh, icon over product page simply we can uh, click it from here next is wishlist page so with this wishlist page the admin with the help of short codes can automatically add a page to the woocommerce store so it will help to save the time of page creation and in that page it will also show all the details of the product added to the wish list in a well framed table format so we have also provided a feature by which uh, wish list can be shown on any custom page by just pasting the short codes so all the settings have been done now we have to click on save so the message has come you have saved your data 
so all the settings have been done for the general settings now let's move to social sharing so with this social sharing functionality, the admin can allow the users to share their wish list on social media so that the customers or the users can decide and interact with family and friends related to the wish list. So it will help the store owner to promote their store via social media. So the first functionality is icon size. So from here we can decide or customize the icon size of the various social media icons like we can select a small, medium or large and we can select any of the option from here like I have selected a small. Next is to enable the uh, Facebook share functionality. So from here we can enable the Facebook share and we can also customize the color of that Facebook icon. So by default, the color is set to the original color of the respective social media or else if you want to change the color or customize, you, you can select it from here. Next is WhatsApp share. Uh, so from here, the, uh, we can enable the WhatsApp share functionality and we can also customize the WhatsApp icon color. So same goes for Twitter share. So from here, we can enable the Twitter share functionality to share the wishlist with friends so that the users can share their wishlist via Twitter. Next is Twitter icon color. So by default, the color is set to the blue or we can customize by selecting it from here. Next is Pinterest share. So if the customer or the user wants to share their wishlist wish list via Pinterest share, so you can enable this functionality from here and you can decide the color code from here or else if you want the default color, you can select it and you just have to click on save. So all the settings have been done for the social sharing and now we have to click on save. The message has come, you have saved your data. So all the settings have been done for social sharing. Now let's move to the next setting that is push notification. So with this push notification functionality, the admin or the store owner can send push notifications directly to the user system. So basically this feature is only available in premium version of the plugin. So when I will be coming up with the next tutorial video on the premium uh, features of the plugin. So I will be explaining you this feature in detail. So the next functionality is advanced features. So these are some advanced features that are included in our premium version of the plugin like multiple wishlists, create API routing, automated emails, in stock notifications, delete data, wishlist at uninstall. So these advanced features will help the store owner to give multiple options to buyers including creation of multiple wishlists and it will also help the admin or the store owner to send emails to the customers who have added their products to wishlist and can send in stock notifications so now when i will be coming up with the next demo video which will be on the advanced features then i will be explaining you these features in details so now let's move to next functionality that is crm configuration so with this crm configuration feature or functionality the plugin can be integrated with motic and hubspot and this all can be managed in this crm configuration panel so this configuration will help the store owners to track and nurture the WooCommerce contacts, sync the data of the WooCommerce store, create segmentations and custom fields and much more. So this CRM configuration is available in the premium feature. And these are the benefits that will be included with the CRM configuration. So all the settings have been done for the configuration and settings. Now let's move to next functionality that is performance analytics. So let's click on performance analytics. So with this performance analytics functionality, the store owner can track all the wishlist related aspects of the customer behavior. So the uh, plugin can track the details in two aspects. The first aspect is all wishlist. So here the store owner can track the details related to the product ID, title, products, on which date a wishlist was created, on which date it was modified, who is the owner, and the properties of the product. Next, uh, next aspect is product based reporting. So here the store owner can see the product wise details of all the wish list for the entire WooCommerce store. And you can see as uh, this uh, beanie uh, wish list count is two. So this product is placed on top. So according to wish list count, the admin or the store owner can decide the marketing campaigns or plan the marketing campaigns or the discount campaigns on that product so that he can get higher conversion rates along with higher customer engagement. So uh, this was all about the backend settings of uh, ultimate wishlist for WooCommerce. Now let's move to the shop page and see how these settings will reflect on the front end. So this was all about the backend settings of the wishlist ultimate wishlist for WooCommerce. Now let's move to shop page and see how these settings will reflect on the shop page. 
So we are on the shop page and as you can see on the product image there is a heart icon. So this is because of the functionality of the wishlist view type that we have selected as icon over product image and the interface icon we have selected as heart. So as soon as we click on this heart icon the product will be added to the wishlist. So as you can see that the hoodie has been added to the wishlist and from here you can view the wishlist. So as you, as you can see the wishlist has been created. As you can see these options of the sharing via social media is appearing here because we have enabled the functionality to share this wishlist via social media and the color of these icons and the size that we have selected is coming accordingly. Next we are getting a uh, option of add adding the comment and priorities. So you can add the comment like like whatever comment you want to make you can comment and the priority you want to set you can select it from here and you can click on save. So the comment has been added successfully. So all these activities whatever we are doing this will be tracked on the performance analytics and the admin or the store owner can track this activity in the performance analytics section. So we also get an option of inviting the friends via email. So you have to just enter any email ID and this invitation will be sent to the friends email. So I have sent this email for the invite. So all the settings that we have done on the back end is appearing on the front end. Let's check what these activities are tracked on the performance analytics or not. See this in uh, this invite email has been sent to the email ID or not. So let's go and check. So as you can see the email we have entered. So on that email ID we have got an invitation to join as a collaborator to view the wishlist. So in this way uh, we can invite friends via email. So in the back end in the performance analytics section all the activities that were done are being tracked. So as you can see this is the status that or the product that we have selected uh, as hoodie has been tracked and the status of that has also been tracked and whatever the collaboration that we have made that means whatever the uh, email id that we have entered to invite has been also tracked and the comment that we have made is also being tracked like uh, i have uh, made a comment like for adam and the, i have set the priority as high so it, it, uh, it has also been tracked and now if I want to see the analytics according to product based reporting. So this is the product that we have selected. So that product thumbnail image is appearing here and the product title and the product ID and the wishlist count has been appearing here. So this is how on the basis of performance analytics the store owner can track the customer insights and plan marketing strategy accordingly. So now we will understand the advantages of ultimate wishlist for WooCommerce plugin. So let's see what are the advantages of ultimate wishlist for WooCommerce plugin. So the ultimate wishlist for WooCommerce plugin will help the store owner or the admin to reduce shopping cart abandonment. The shop owner with wishlist plugin can record or track wishlist created by the logged in customer. The store owner or the WooCommerce merchant can add or manage all the functionalities from one single platform. The ultimate wishlist for WooCommerce plugin offers feature by which the customers can add as many products they want to their wishlist and recheck all the products according to their convenience. The store owner also gets the access to enable the functionality by which the wishlist can be shared by the customers via social media. The store owner can track all the products details along with the number of wishes comments that are made by the customer in the wishlist. So the plugin offers uh, CRM configuration with HubSpot and Motic which will help uh, in lead generation and marketing campaigns. So the store owner with the performance analytics functionality can track wishlist of the customers and along with the added products in the wishlist including comments. So this was all about the demo video of ultimate wishlist for WooCommerce plugin and if you enjoyed watching the video make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel and if you have any doubts and queries regarding the plugin functionalities you can mention in the comment section and we will be glad to help you. So till the next video stay connected with us. Thank you.